seeing? Yeah, we're, we're making progress. Um, you know, was, we played really hard the first half. Uh, gave up some easy baskets the second half against Michigan, but you know, I, I think we made a step in the right direction. And uh, you know, Peyton was really good down the stretch, and the rest of the guys, uh, you know, really joined in there. So, no, it, was, it was a good win, and I think we're getting better. So, see. feel like with so many new guys that maybe it's coming together a little quicker than. Maybe you could expect or some past years. When well, it's just so experienced years. guards. You know, that's uh, the reason for that. You know, you have Peyton and Anthony's got some experience. Chris has got a little experience. So I think that's where you where you see the difference. We just, our guards are more experienced than what we've had in, in previous years. Weavers seemed to get hot in that second half. What did you guys do to shut him down the final seven or so minutes of that game? Well, we, I, should have been switching those ball screens a lot earlier. That's my fault. You know, I didn't make an adjustment quick enough there. Um, Francis did a tremendous job, you know, containing it. We lost him there a couple times early in the half. He got it going, you know, and uh, uh, but the ball screens were giving us some problems, and we I was just really slow making an adjustment. So. I like Francis could do that well last year, too. Is that pretty unusual for a big guy to be able to, to guard like that on the perimeter? We've gotten better at it. You know, Jordan was great, and Chris was great at it. You know, we've, we've been really fortunate. Uh, Arsalan was the best, you know, but uh, uh, we've had some bigs who can slide their feet, and, and that helps. But I thought Francis did a really good job. Is this as good as Peyton's finish at the move? In his career, yeah, no, uh, no doubt about that. He he was doing a good job last year. You know, when he when he goes north and south, you know, um, you know he's pretty effective. Uh, and he, he got some transition north and south, his drive straight line. You know, I thought he was really good there, and and you know, I kept waiting for him to double him or something. You know, and uh, told him to keep looking to make plays, but he was getting to the rim. You know, kind of hard to. To argue with that, and that's why we shot it so well. You know, the 16 turnovers held us back offensively. We should have had a better offensive game. We just turned it over, and not good turnovers either. You know, so a little disappointed there. What do you want Dante to get out of tomorrow night? I'm sorry. What do you want Dante to get out of tomorrow night? Oh, I don't know. We just see how the game goes. Uh, Montana's played some people awfully tough. Uh, they haven't been able to, to come away with victories, but I just you know, watched the New Mexico game again this morning and watched Washington. You know, they, they played them tough and, and weren't able to finish. So uh, we'll see what the game brings. I'd you know, like to see him play a little bit, but we'll just see how he does today. He did okay yesterday and see how he feels today and, and uh, you know, try to bring him along. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, he won't be ready this week. He won't play either game. I early should be after Christmas, but he won't. He won't play this week. With the way you try to in, uh, integrate in volley, it's, I'm assuming it's a little bit different than like Lou last year was coming off an injury plus having not practiced. This is maybe an endurance plus learning the offense and scheme situation. Yeah, it is different. You know, Lou was here. He was watching practice every day, and and we were running dry offense with him. You know, so big difference, and uh, you know, so it's going to take time. You know, I, I know our fans. You know, heck, if it was, if he'd come right in and do so great, you know, what the hell we've been practicing for two months? You know, I mean, these guys, and they were here all summer. You know, uh, like to think that the summer and a couple months of practice helped us a little bit. So, uh, but he is talented now. I, uh, and if there's one guy who can adjust and. With him inside, we can simplify things, I think, for him a little bit, both offensively and defensively. A wonderful young man. I, I love talking to him. I love working with him. And, uh, you know, hopefully he'll make the adjustment quick. So, From seeing him in practice yesterday, what does Dante add uh, in, your, in your presence? Well, 252 pounds. You know, that's the one thing you notice. He's big, you know. Uh, 252, yeah, yeah. And uh, so, like I said, that uh, we, just, we don't have that kind of size, you know. So he does that, and you know his instincts are good. He's been well coached, uh, prep school. Uh, so you know, defensively, he's you know often to the ball. He's up the floor. You know, he he's got a good feel there, and his instincts are really good. So 
you know, I think he'll make the adjustment fairly quickly, but his, his conditioning's not very good. And, uh, you know, when you run on your own and you do things on your own, it's one thing, but, you know, you get into a two hour practice, you know, and, and it's a different thing. So, you know, that's all going to take time, but we knew that coming in, you know, and, and especially with big guys, it takes longer, you know, for conditioning and that. When trying to get 252 pounds in shape is a lot different than a 170 pound guard. You know, so uh, it'll take some time. But he's, he's a pretty tough young man. I think he'll, he'll do a good job. Has he come to you or any other coaches to get some advice on how to make the adjustment a little bit quicker? Oh, I think he's just excited to be here. You know, I think he's taking it day by day. And, you know, hopefully, you know, things will progress pretty quickly for him. When you have school and two and a half weeks of free games that he can get acclimated and just well, focus just on. Help. Yeah, yeah. No, I I hope it will. You know, we got a little more time here and uh, don't have the pressures of you know going to school and study hall and that. So you know, I'm hoping that'll help him a little bit. When you've had so many big wins in your career, Dana, and you've been in the tournament for years. All right, beyond the teaching points that you talk about in the game Saturday. Are you able to really appreciate and enjoy what the back at film and that and just how big that was, how how truly great a basketball game that was? That's still part well, of it. Well, I, I thought it was a good game, you know. I mean, um, when I was able to watch it, you know, I thought the intensity level from both teams, you know, we hit shots early, but they were playing hard. I mean, we just, you know, Anthony hit some tough shots, you know, and uh, when they got it going, you know, we, I thought we got a little leg weary there in the, in the second half. I thought we gave him some easy baskets. But other than that little stretch there, I thought defensively we were pretty hard-nosed. I, I thought our blockouts were better. So I thought we played you know, a pretty good game. And you know, I thought our intensity level the first half was uh, really good you know, that's as, as well. Like I said, I thought we got just a little fatigued in the second half there just because we played a little harder. But uh, no, it was a good game. and. Great crowd and great atmosphere. So uh, those those games are fun. Those, that's why the guys came here, you know, to, to play in those kind of games. And hopefully, we'll have a lot more of them. Like the Bahamas and Memphis helped you with the intensity for, for that one. Oh, it, it's hard to tell. You know, road games are different. You know, uh, in basketball, everybody's right there. Uh, but no, I, uh, you know, it's it's a gradual stair step you want to take and. Our guys, and again, our experienced guards, you know, that makes a big difference. You know, uh, we don't turn it over a lot. Now, we did against Michigan, but, you know, I, we're averaging 11.8 turnovers a game. You know, if we can keep it at that, you know, I can live with that. Uh, 16 was a little, a little over the top the other day, but, uh, you know, we can keep it around 10, 11 turnovers. You know, that's experienced guards, you know, and, uh, you know, turnovers have got us in trouble. We just in a couple games, but we got to do a better job there.